Summer is almost here. A perfect time to get out and enjoy some music, and he can do that at the Denver Botanic Gardens. Joining us this morning, Aaron Bird from the Gardens. Aaron, thank you so much for joining us. Of course. Thank you for having me. Of course. So I I'm sure a lot of people are excited to have the Summer Concert Series back. For anyone not familiar, can you tell us what we can expect? Definitely. So the UMB Summer Concert Series at the Gardens takes place in our amphitheater. So it's outdoor, in the round, and you get to experience um, incredible national, international touring artists in the beautiful backdrop of the Botanic Gardens. Oh, so stunning. I mean, it's pretty as it is, and to get to enjoy live music out there, so wonderful. Talk about some of the big names we can expect to hear. Of course. Um, so a handful of the dates are sold out, okay. but opening night is June 20th, and that is Nico Case, and there's still tickets available for her show. Awesome. And then Esperanza Spalding, the jazz artist in July, and then um, a couple of dates, Asmati and Steep Canyon Rangers in um, later in the season have tickets available available as well. Oh, that's so much fun. Can you talk to us about Evening Al Fresco if mm -hmm. someone's not familiar with that event? Sure. So Evening Al Fresco um, is something that we created once we reopened after COVID closure. And so it was kind of like a pivot that we had to do okay. to offer live music, but in a more intimate, safe environment. Yeah. And so um, unlike the big concerts, you wander through the gardens okay. and encounter local musicians playing throughout. There's five different ensembles each night ranging from jazz to folk to singer songwriter and they're all booked by our partner Swallow Hill Music. Oh that sounds so special you can just kind of explore and have different types of music along the way. Exactly. Oh my gosh that's so neat. Um, so we also have to ask it's warming up how are the gardens looking at right now it's been raining a lot so I feel like yes. everything's probably really growing. You are right <laughs> yeah things are probably much larger than plants they are than usually this time of yeah. the year and um, the irises are gorgeous the peonies are just starting to open, which are a crowd spring favorite. Um, so any place you go at York Street and our Chatfield Farms location, um, it is looking very colorful. Okay, and you mentioned Chatfield. Really quickly, we want to mention you talked about a project coming up in the next couple years where mm -hmm. we're going to be able to enjoy music there as well. Can you share with us a little bit about that, Erin? So Chatfield Farms is launching a master development plan, and um, so over the next handful of years, you'll be seeing lots of transformation at that location. Um, including an official music pavilion. So we will be able to resume our concerts at the Chatfield Farms location. That is so exciting. It's so beautiful out there. Yes. Of course, we want to let everyone know how they can get tickets for the events we were just talking about mm -hmm. at Denver Botanic Gardens. Our website, botanicgardens.org, is where you'll find more information about each of the events, the dates, the artists that are performing, and you can buy your tickets. Perfect. Erin, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Sure thing. Thank you. Ed